KTLA 5's John Finolio joins us live from the newsroom. He's tracking the transition. Hi, John. Hey, Corden Rick. Good evening to you. President Trump and President-elect Biden are working in opposite directions. Team Trump appears to be holding on to hope that somehow election results might be reversed in the courts. Meantime, Biden is pushing ahead with the changes he plans on day one. President Trump returning to the White House after golfing Sunday, giving his supporters two thumbs up one day after losing the election to Joe Biden. Former President George W. Bush congratulated President-elect Biden and acknowledged Mr. Trump's right to pursue legal challenges, while also saying in a statement, the American people can have confidence that this election was fundamentally fair, its integrity will be upheld, and its outcome is clear. President Trump should not concede. But not all Republicans agree, and some are urging the president to challenge the results. We have a process for ascertaining the truth, which is that you can go and present evidence and test it in a court of law, and this case could very easily end up at the U.S. Supreme Court. While President Trump is refusing to concede the election, Mr. Biden is moving forward, announcing plans to name a new coronavirus task force. On Monday, I will name a group of leading scientists and experts as transition advisors to help take the Biden-Harris COVID plan and convert it into an action blueprint that will start on January the 20th, 2021. That plan will be built on bedrock science. And unveiling his official transition website, which lays out immediate executive actions aimed at strengthening the economy and reversing many Trump administration policies. The president continues to make baseless claims online that the election was stolen from him post that Twitter flagged as false or misleading. He's also claiming without evidence widespread voter fraud. We can't back you blindly without evidence. And if they don't come forward with the with the proof, then it's time to move on. Most legal experts say the president's lawsuits won't succeed in changing the results of the election. These legal challenges that Trump is bringing are basically meritless. And even if they had merit, which the vast majority of them do not, they wouldn't result in the overturning of the election. But Biden is winning by tens of thousands of votes in all of the relevant states. And so the legal challenges aren't going to have any effect. Think about this. The government agency responsible for approving an official transition of power is called the U.S. General Services Administration. It's led by a Trump appointee named Emily Murphy. Reuters reports she has so far declined to acknowledge a clear winner in this election. Without GSA approval, President-elect Biden will be denied access to millions of dollars in federal funding and access to top officials within the intelligence community and other government departments. John Finolio, KTLA 5 News.